Hello again. It's been great seeing everyone getting stuck in with Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown. I hope you're all enjoying it. By this point, you've probably eaten a bunch of low punches, been launched every time you've tried to move in, and felt helpless against throw mix-ups, I'm sure. Today, let's go over some of the special tricks and tech that's unique to Virtual Fighter, so that you don't get caught in endless guessing games like that. All five of these are universal. Your character might have some extra stuff or better stuff, but as a general rule, you want to get into the habit of doing all five of these as early as possible. Starting with number one, guard cancelling strings. You may have noticed in Virtual Fighter 5 that there's a huge window when it comes to inputting your combo strings. Not only that, the slower you input your combos, the slower the combo actually comes out. Probably more on that in a later video, but for right now, in the early stages of playing, this can be really inconvenient and you'll find yourself awkwardly doing combos every time you want to set something up with a jab or cancel your combo into something else. So how do you stop that? Guard cancelling, or G cancelling, is the practice of pressing guard after a move in order to prevent the rest of the combo string from coming out. So if I as an Akira main want plus frames to go into more plus frames naturally, I can input a jab and then follow up with a different kind of punch attack without it becoming my punch combo by pressing guard in between the two punch buttons. If you're ever getting unwanted combos, this is a good first place to look. Number two, the lazy tech. Here's a weird one. You shouldn't be blocking in Virtual Fighter. I know some of you are already masters of not blocking, but what I mean is that there's a few ways of blocking in Virtual Fighter that have added benefits and you should be doing one of those options whenever you're making the choice to guard rather than leaning on the big green button and hoping for the best. The lazy tech is one of the first things you should be learning. All you have to do is press guard and then a few frames later, while still holding guard, press the punch button. This will successfully block high and mid attacks if the opponent does choose to attack, but it will also allow you to input a throw tech within the input buffer if they anticipate your block and choose to take advantage with a throw. So if you find yourself constantly in a block or tech guessing game, this covers you for a lot of scenarios. You can practice the timing of this in dojo mode by setting the opponent to the guard and counter attack 5 option which tells the dummy to block and then follow up with a mid or a throw. If you're practicing this and you're getting thrown still, then you're probably doing it too slow. If you're getting hit, then you're doing it too fast. Number three, fuzzy garden. Similar to the last one, but with some added offensive benefits, fuzzy ducking or fuzzy garden is something that you'll see in a lot of high level play. It covers throws, highs, mids, and even some fast lows, making it a really strong defensive tool. To do this, you want to guard and hold down for a split second on the joystick and then release it. I've got the dummy set to counter-attack 5 again, so you'll see that we're able to duck under the throw attempt, but also block the mid while seemingly ducking, so again you're getting the best of both worlds here, and in a normal scenario you shouldn't be able to block low against a mid. This works because throws are the fastest move in the game, coming out in 10 frames, so the crouch covers them, but then releasing, with the guard still held down, means that you're technically inputting a standing block in time for the slower mid to come out. If you're getting thrown, you're either releasing too fast or crouching too late, and if you're getting hit with the mid, then you're releasing the stick too slow. It's worth mentioning at this point, like with all things in fighting games, becoming predictable with any of these will get you in trouble, so use it a lot, but pay attention to the opponents that are becoming wise to it. Number 4, Dash Cancelling. As always, when a game comes out with a block button, there's some teething issues and the usual debates over which style of blocking is better, using a block button or holding back. One advantage that is common in block button games, like Virtual Fighter and Mortal Kombat, is the ability to guard cancel your dashes. This has a few applications and some characters can take more advantage of it than others, but the main takeaway is that if you press guard while dashing forwards, you can cancel your dash, or at least part of it. This is really useful for approaching the opponent if you anticipate an attack from them, or if you need to react to something with a long startup. It's also useful for keeping up close and personal with the opponent when you're on the defense. The later you leave it, the further you'll move forward, so there's a lot of modulation here with micro-stepping, faking dashes, making your spacing more accurate, all sorts of cool things. Experiment with your own character to see where this can help you. The best place to practice this is in the final trial in the tutorial, which requires you, while being hit, to input a sidestep, then a dash, and then guard cancel that dash before the next attack comes in, five times in a row without making any mistakes. It's not the easiest, but it really illustrates how ending your dash can really save your neck. You can also do this with crouch dashing, uh, but it's a fraction slower. And uh, number five, back dash cancelling. So that last one's a useful option for cancelling your dashes while moving forwards. This one's useful for cancelling your dash while moving backwards. Especially in the lower ranked hell of constant 2p attacks and rago or barry, it's an effective way to steal easy damage and introduce a shimmy style of whiff punishing into your game. So rather than cancelling your backdash with a guard button, uh, you want to cancel your backdash with an attack that occupies the space that you're backdashing out of. This really gets the most out of the chunky input buffer that Virtua Fighter has, because you can backdash and then input the directions needed for your next move during the backdash animation, when you're safely out of the way of their attack. And while you're out of the way, you finish your input and slap them for their hasty aggression. A good way to practice this is to set the opponent to block and counter attack number 2 in dojo mode. This sets the dummy to block once and then attempt the infamous dick jab that keeps shutting down all of your high and throw attempts. Punch the opponent, backdash and then see if you can cancel that backdash into an attack quick enough to hit them before they go back into blocking. If you get hit after the backdash, you're pressing a button too early, and if they block, you're too late, or you've picked a move that's too slow. And that's it for these five techniques that you should be using in your game. 
already. If you think I've missed anything or you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. On that last one, there's some really good extra advice coming from Tricky and Emery Reigns, so I'll drop some links to their videos in the description below. And as always, I'll see you on my